Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to create a JSON service. As you can see on the right side, we have data about users. So in a previous tutorial, we did the uh, table on the left. Now we're going to do the JSON formatted data on the right. This is a course on web development with Java Spring, Spring Boot. The goal of this course is to make you a professional web developer with the Java language. So this is the index of everything that we're learning. And we're on part two right now, which is about models, views, and controllers. And so we're creating a controller that can produce several kinds of data. My name is Shad Sluter, and I'm a professor of software development at Grand Canyon University. So picking up from the previous tutorial, we created a, an event in a controller that looks like this. And it creates a list of persons. And when we produce it on the screen, we have a template that shows it in a table format. So we're going to take the same set of data and this time produce a JSON formatted list of data. So let's adapt the uh, code that we did in the previous tutorial and do it for this one. So I'm going to copy and paste the data that we had before. And so instead of saying for my endpoint as being people, I'm going to put in the word people, and let's say JSON. So this will be the URL. Now the method name itself also has to be unique. So I'm going to call this show friends JSON. So a few things that we have to modify to make this event work correctly. First of all, we're going to put an annotation in that says we are going to return a response body. So we are not dealing with a template. That's what this means. So a response body. Then the next thing is we need to return the uh, list itself. So in the previous example of this, we returned an HTML file. Now we're just going to return the list that's called friends. So this is literally returning an array list. Then we also have to tell the uh, format of the uh, return type. So instead of a string as the return type, we're going to say that we are expecting a list and the list is of type person. So with these modifications, we should be able to navigate to a different URL, which is people JSON, and we'll get a different response. Okay, it looks like the app is up and running. So let's swipe over to our browser. I'm going to refresh to make sure that the first people URL worked. And then adding JSON to the URL gives us the other end. So this endpoint here shows a whole bunch of data. Now you can see that each item is considered a JSON object. So like this one here starts with a curly bracket, ends with a comma. Now you can collapse these and you can also collapse the entire list. Now you might not see the data in a nice format like I do. So the reason why this is working is because of a plugin. So if you want to find your own JSON viewers, you can go to the Chrome Web Store and look into the extensions under something for JSON. There are multiple types that you can pick from. So looks like I picked the first one called JSON Viewer. You can see there's JSON Formatter and so on. And so all of these are meant to display JSON in a pretty format. Now the way that you use this data has to have a front end. So the JavaScript usually is the language of the front end. So something like React or Angular or Vue are common frameworks that are able to interpret this JSON data and render it into a full page. Now you might ask, why in the world would you want to do this? Why We already had a nicely formatted table before with the time leaf template. So that is true. However, if you want to do a separation so that you can have a back end that is completely distinct from the front end, then you need this in intermediate type of data format called JSON. And so we'll have an example of a actual single page app or an SPA, and we'll write it in JavaScript. It will do exactly what I just described. We'll have a front end and it will use the JSON formatted data from the back end, but that's for another time. So that is your introduction to the models, views, and controllers. We have a controller that can display multiple types of data. In the next section, we're going to talk about beans and dependency injection and make a more fully developed REST API. So stick around and make sure you watch the coming videos and you too can become a professional web developer using Java. So thanks for coming.